Today I'm here with Maria Domark, a future pop artist and former model. Maria's music is accompanied by mind-bending visual art, which has led to her own social empire of 2 million followers across Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Her recent EP, Flawless, tells the story of fear, loneliness, rumors, plastic culture, anxiety, but also of living your truth at all costs. I'm looking forward to our conversation today. Let's get started. So first off, um, let's just start at the beginning. What inspired you to go into singing? Well, it was kind of complicated, I guess, because I really wanted to sing all my life. Like I remember getting the solo in the kindergarten and like the the music teacher really liked me and told my mother that, that I'm that I have a talent and I was so proud of myself. Um, but later when I um, started like learning, like I taught myself to play guitar and I was uh, writing songs, but I've performed in front of my mother and she didn't approve of what I did. Like she, she, she kind of discouraged me from, from singing and from writing music and doing that. So I lost my confidence. Um, and then I've tried to get into high school major, like high school and music major, and I wasn't ac- accepted, even though I tried like two times to get like I begged them for another try and they still didn't get me. So yeah, I've kind of lost all my hope to do it. So I became a model. I just wanted to do something different. I still wanted to be like, um, different from the people who I knew, like who wanted to, to study and like to do, um, regular nine to five in their life and I didn't want to do it. So yeah, I only went back to music like three years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what, what brought you back to music? What sort of pushed you in that, that direction? It was always there. That's what I wanted to do. I just, I I just didn't have the confidence to do it, to pursue this. I thought that I'll just stick to modeling, I guess, but I hated it. Like I hated being liked for my looks. I I hated going to interviews and like people would ask me about my um, workout routine and about my body and about my my looks and it just felt so fake. And I just mm-hmm. really wanted to be known or to, to be um, to people to like me just for the stuff I'm doing, to stuff that I that are worth being appreciated for. Yeah. Yeah. So um, let's get into your music. Why do you gravitate towards future pop, that genre? Well, this EP is like the first time I'm actually making music on my own terms. I'm actually producing and I'm actually writing my own songs. So I was super experimental. I just wanted to try everything. Like you have this whole universe of possibilities of sounds. So I just wanted to explore. So Mm -hmm. yeah, it's kind of like it's kind of like future pop that like that's that's the feeling i got from this ep yeah yeah and you shared um i was when i was doing some research you shared that uh the song haunted on your ep was the first song that you wrote on your own so yeah can you talk about that experience and how that felt it was hard <laughs> um i was sitting this one n- night with my guitar it was the lockdowns and i was yeah i was just stop I, I just stopped modeling and i didn't know how, what i was doing i just wanted to do music but i didn't know how so i felt completely lost like i have no future in any direction like i didn't know what i'm doing so um this melody came to my mind and i decided that i want to produce a song with this melody and then i just kept doing it and the song was super hard for me to write i didn't know how to finish it but i did it in the end yeah yeah that's great so um why do you choose to accompany your music with art a lot i mean on your album and most of the stuff that you do it's always accompanied by mind bending visual art so what inspires this artwork i see my music as um like i i always visualize my music like before like it's so hard for me to express myself with words but it is it to me for me to picture it like to like I, I visualized this whole world um, when I wrote this music mm-hmm. and made those uh, those tracks. So yeah, th- I have I had to have those visual uh, those visuals of like this future kind of vibe, like for you to get the feeling of what I was trying mm-hmm. to do. Okay, and uh, where do you your lyrics stem from? Like, um, what? 
how do you put such raw emotion, I guess, into words? As you said, it's harder to put these feelings into words. So how did, how do you accomplish that? It was a lot of work, a lot of um, realizing what I'm, what, what I'm trying to say, because while I'm writing, I don't always know what I'm writing about. Um, but I, but I always feel like when it's genuine and when it's not, I can't let my lyrics, like even one word to not be like exactly what I'm feeling or exactly what I would say or exactly how I would describe myself. So I'm always trying to keep it as real as I can. And it takes me, sometimes it can take a while for me to understand what I'm trying to say and what is going on inside of me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, you recently made the choice to delete all of your prior content on your social media. Yeah. So to sort of start over from scratch. So can you talk about why you did that and how it has felt to sort of rebrand yourself online? Um, so when I decided that I want to, that I want my music to be my main focus, um, I knew that I had to change my content, but I didn't know how because I was a model all my, all my life. Like I knew how to take pictures to get attention and to get likes and engagement. And like, it's, it's a certain kind of content. It's not authentic at all. Like it's, um, like I would go to beautiful places and I would wear, um, beautiful clothing just to get the best picture. So I had to change my mindset first of all, like to to change it to making content that is truly me, like that I'm not trying to do something mm -hmm. that I'm not. Um, so I've decided to slowly change that, like to not spook my followers and not, and, and also not like I had to learn, you know? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I've decided to get rid of all the old content that is not authentic and not represent the, the artist, the artistic side of me. Um, so yeah, mm -hmm. I'm very glad I did it. It's, it's super yeah. important. Yeah. So, um, I want to sort of just go back to the modeling and you mm -hmm. mentioned that it, it wasn't authentic and that's sort of why you quit, but is there, is there any other reasons you left modeling and to pursue singing instead? I think, I think the main reason was the authentic, the authentic, the lack authenticity? of authenticity. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like I was, I was being like, I was a successful model in my country. So people recognize, recognize me on the street and they would always ask me and talk to me about my looks. And I just didn't like being recognized for nothing, like for just being recognized for existing. Like I had no content to share with people. Just, I just could share my looks. Like people didn't care what I have to say and mm -hmm. people wouldn't take me seriously because I'm a model and models are so stupid and they don't have anything special to say. Like that's what people think. And it drove me crazy. I, mm -hmm. I couldn't take it anymore. It gave me such, such bad anxiety and trauma. So yeah, I had to quit. Yeah. Would you say part of that experience is sort of helped you write your songs for your your recent EP or would you say a lot of it stemmed from your experience in modeling? This EP is definitely like, I wrote, I wrote it like two years ago, almost two years ago. So the trauma from modeling was still super fresh. So most of the songs mm -hmm. are about this time of my life. Like rumors is about this girl who's being chased by um, evil people trying to destroy this girl with vicious rumors and, sp and spread rumors that can ruin her life. And they do. And I, I experienced that, like not in this extreme, but I did experience, um, vicious rumors being spread about me and I can't do nothing to stop it. Um, mm -hmm. also haunted, of course, it's like being lost, uh, with this modeling life. And like, I didn't know what, where I was going. I'm, I'm, I'm surrounded with so many people, but I'm so lonely and then there's my way of me um, talking about how I'm sick of all of that and that I want to just do my own thing and I'm sick of people telling me what I should do to, I'm sick of this good girl image of like this good model who's doing her best like to keep um, getting campaigns and stuff. So yeah, it's definitely mm -hmm. about that. Um, what? So what projects do you have your eyes on for the future? Like what do you plan on doing with music? in the next five or 10 years? 
Well, I hope to do more and more of it, of course. I hope to do um, music videos, like, to actually, like, um, to show the world I'm imagine imagining when I'm creating my music, like, to build this whole visual world around those tracks. Um, and, yeah, and cool collaborations and work with super cool people. Like, I, I really can't wait to do it. That's what I see in yeah, my future. Who yeah, so who who is is there anyone in specific that you would want to work with for like a, a duet or for the visual art aspect of your of your music? Is there any people in specific? <laughs> I would actually like to work with Dylan Brady. I really like everything mm -hmm. this this person just everything he touches turns to gold and I really like the, his his sound. And there's also a dream of mine to work with Grimes. I don't know if it ever, um, if it will ever happen, but if it, if it happened, like, I, I don't know, I'll lose my mind. So yeah, <laughs> those, those yeah. were, those are like my fa main focuses for like right now. Yeah. And, uh, your, your EP was just recently released. What was the reaction like for that? What did how was from the the audience from the public what did it what did, what were people saying about it well i was actually prepared for for a lot of hate like i thought that when i when i released this ep like my followers would turn against me and like people would hate this concept of a model singing and like won't take me seriously and i'll have to work twice as hard to prove that i'm actually worth um being appreciated in this um, in, in this um, industry, but I'm surprised that I did didn't get no hate. Like I, people are very supportive, and it's so so fresh right now. But I don't know, people like it. I get just all I get is good comments, and people support me and wait for me to to publish more music, and that that's crazy. I didn't expect that at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's great. And then I just sort of wanted to ask what inspires you to keep going? Like, I mean, it's a tough industry in music as well as it is in modeling. I mean, they're two different industries completely, but what pushes you to keep going? Well, just, just the fact that this is what I like to do. This is my mm -hmm. way of expressing myself. I can't do this in any other way. So yeah, it's a hard industry. It's an expensive industry. Like if, if you're not a successful artist, it costs more than you actually earn from, from doing it, but it's worth it. Like, this is what I want to do. This is my favorite thing to do. Yeah. So I have to do it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I, I've, I've asked everything. Is there anything else you want to share in regards to your music or your recent EP you've released? Just that this is the craziest ride I've been on and it's so exciting and I, I just can't wait to share more music and more stuff and to actually, I can't wait to actually be able to show visuals and do whatever I want with it and, and make people like it and experience it as I, as I experience it. Yeah. Well, that's great. I think that's a that's a great note to end on. And thank you so much again for for tuning in and chatting with me. I really appreciate you. you taking the time.